vocal grade.
Thank you. Street feet. Hello there. Hello. Want to uh, introduce yourselves? And uh, well, the name of the band is Street Feet. Yes. Correct. And you're based out of where? Uh, Binghamton, New York. York. Okay. Introduce yourselves. What you do in the band? Hi, I'm Roger. I uh, play guitar. Paul, I do bass. Or uh, drums. <laughs> <laughs> Drums. Those are drums. Do you often get confused between the bass and drums? Yeah. <laughs> He'd play everything if he could. Uh, my name's Taylor. I'm, I'm doing the vocals. And I'm, I'm Zach. I do bass. I it's do you. bass. You do, <laughs> do you do bass in another band? No. Oh, all right. No. <laughs> you just forgot what instrument you played. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're going to play here in a few minutes. Uh, you're a grind band. Yes. So how did you come up with the name Street Feet? Um, technically, we didn't. Our old vocalist. Yeah, about shout out Brendan O'Neill, our yeah, old vocalist. About six he, uh, years ago. Yeah. He, he came up with it. His mom would tell him he had street feet, and they were huh. dirty, and he would have to wear shoes, and he didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, this is basically when you go outside and you without shoes on. And All right. You got you got you dirty come feet. Home with dirty black street feet. <laughs> yeah, and your mom yells at you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> from from the name, I wouldn't pick it as being a grind band. Uh, no, I mean we've heard that before too. I mean we've kind of gone through a couple stages. It's based on numbers and such, and so it's been like a hardcore band. It started off fast core, hardcore, kind mm. of moved to a power violence. It's like a two piece with me and Roger. Yeah, we it both was just did just drums and guitar for a while. We toured that like twice. Yeah, oh, wow. We we did a uh, we've we've done like three. East Coast tours, about two like West Coast, like a full U.S. tour. Wow. Um, we've done a lot of weekends, um, usually with like, a couple local bands. We did one with like a Media Limits hardcore band, Dream Team hardcore band. Then we did like a full U.S. tour with a like a doom kind of black metal band from Boston, Boston Upheaval. called Upheaval. Hmm. And they're good friends of ours. Wow. So how, how long has this been a thing? Uh, this is our sixth year. Sixth year. Okay. Yeah, six yeah. Five. And how many of you, or just the two of you, have been we in the band the, the whole time? We are the original yeah. members. Taylor has joined. Uh, Over a year it'll, now. It'll be yeah. two years this June, I think. And Zach literally joined in August or mm -hmm. July August, or something like yeah. that. Okay. So it's relatively fresh with uh, with Zach and then Taylor. Taylor's uh, does like a bunch of like a lot of noise. Yeah, I do a lot of harsh noise outside of this project too. Uh, mm. Yeah. And that's kind of how we met. Um, I book a lot of shows in Binghamton, and I booked his projects num numerous times. And it was just me and Roger doing drums and guitar and vocals. Yeah. I got like, tired of doing vocals. <laughs> and, and yeah, it just we both did and kind of were like scouted them out a little bit. And we're like, yo, we want to check it out and try out. And it worked out great. So, I'm, you know. We actually have a few releases lined up for this year, too. We got. Yeah. A few different like splits recorded ready to go yeah nice. we have a number of different yeah songs recorded we have a, a seven song um i guess it's like 12 minutes it'll be uh, an lp with a band from indiana called swamp squat they're Check like kind of if you have it. they're like Crazy. a thrashy kind of uh kind of grindy kind of fast but more of like on the thrash side of things oh, nice and then um we have seven songs about 12 minutes recorded for that uh, we've just been waiting on artwork for like the last six months. So, um, we, we we did get a rough copy yesterday, but it, it does look pretty good. It's real yeah, nice. Yeah. Hasn't seen it. yeah, we uh, we just got it. Um, How many releases do you have out? Um, well, we have uh, about two full lengths. Yeah, and I think two we wiped splits. a couple off the old band camp. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's gone through stages, so we've kind of changed it a little bit. Band, but, but we have about probably about forty or songs recorded or so. Hmm. Um, over like those that. years, we figured um, we would keep the name instead yeah. of like dropping all the progress. Yeah, we just it, didn't so. didn't feel like starting over, sure, so we sure. just kind of kept the name, even though it's kind of changed genre a little bit here and there. And that's fine with us. We just kind of have you know gone with what the capabilities of the band members we were working with, or like you know it was just me and Rogers like a two piece uh, doing vocals and stuff. So we kind of switched it to like more of a power violence fast core, more basic song structures. Like A B A A B C A B A C, mm -hmm. you know, real mm -hmm. you know, real easy. So um, and then lately we've kind of changed that to more of our, I don't know, more of like a, a black metal, death metal, grind kind of mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's taking all of our own personal interests and yeah. putting it into something that's really 
and different. get a couple then, slams yeah. in there too. Yeah, got now, to put some slams. knives every now and then. Now, now yeah. I did notice your two newest members only have mustaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was, that, was that a requirement? <laughs> no, we <laughs> working uh, on the rest of it. Right? We just thought we're gonna take over. I mean, we're trying to get them to shave their beards, but they won't. Yeah, yeah, it's winter. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. When summer, when springtime comes, we're gonna make sure they're gone. I'll, you know, I'll, that I'll, I'll make up some other excuse. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, wh- who writes the lyrics for the band? Oh, I do. Okay, where do your lyric inspiration come from? Well, like, I'm all over the board. I, I like a lot of, like, uh, true crime stuff, a lot mm. of just, like, personal introspective stuff, just social awareness, uh, observations. But I like a lot of people just, like, when they listen to have their own interpretation because it kind of takes, I don't like to take the mystique out of, right, you right. know. Yeah. But, okay. I mean, that plus just, like, I have a lot of, like I said, I do harsh noise and stuff, uh, a lot of industrial subculture stuff, just things that you probably just don't actually like think about usually maybe like medical horrors and just, you know it's all over the place it's just like whatever piques yeah, my interest at the time you know great. cool it's purposely kind of ambiguous yeah it's like meant to be open to interpretation to a certain extent so do you have any shows coming up uh yeah we have a show uh january 19th at um uh, myself and a couple of people in binghamton run a venue called avenue diy um, and it's uh, completely DIY, run by the community. All nice. Ages. A couple of man- all ages, no alcohol, no drugs. Um, we are booking this winter. Uh, any any weekend, just hit us up. Avenue DIY booking at gmail.com um, or our Facebook, Avenue DIY. Um, and uh, yeah, we have one there with Anthropic, which I believe yeah, played they've here. Been here. Um, they'll be playing then a local band course of extinction is a, um, I've heard of them as well. Yeah, they've uh, been around for they were my f- first show when I was uh, 14 or 13 years really? old something like that So yeah, we're, we, you know, we're, we're they all have been around for a while. It's a close. Uh, yeah, that was like 17 years ago So <laughs> it's like they, it's, uh, they've been going for 20 years or so and like they have a new lineup and stuff So they're doing you know doing their thing still hmm. and it's uh, it's cool, but um we look forward to it. Yeah, we have that coming up, and then we, we might you know, we have a we're playing a, a fest in Chicago in July, so we'll do a couple days out there. When we've toured, we've made a couple you know friends contacts, yeah, so yeah. we'll probably play a couple places: Midwest, Ohio, Michigan, places up there. Where, where, where's the best place for people to follow you to to know what's coming um, up? Uh, check you can check out. We're not very active on our Facebook page for Street Feet. Um, mm-hmm. You can follow our. Uh, we have a little like uh, little record label thing that we run to called Rat Mix Records. We also have like a bunch of releases on there on our band camp. Yeah, we're at release 43, I think. Um, hmm. Other than that, definitely yeah. follow Avenue DIY on Facebook. Um, yeah. That's where most of the uh, announcements for shows are definitely put up. Rat Mix Records also posts a lot on there and uh, we mainly do cassettes and we do we have done a couple records but we're pretty broke so <laughs> it's kind <laughs> of yeah, we're so waiting for there. Santa to show up. Yeah, yeah. So, I do mean, you release stuff digital as well? Uh, yeah, it's all okay. on, it's all on our band camp. It's it should all be there. set up to pay what you want. Yeah, it should be, nice. we'll should be relatively free. For sure. um, but yeah, yeah, we work with a lot of local bands. I've worked with, you know, couple of bigger bands, a couple of international bands. Really? Um, yeah, some notables would be Organ Dealer from New Jersey, Chepang from New York, um, Agathcles, uh, Mince, Mince Gods, um, you know, Moisturizer from Providence. Um, uh, upheaval from Boston. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, Human Overdose from Binghamton, Street Feet. So there's a lot of bands. There's Nice. 40, so. <laughs> so, you're, so, so you're you're not only are you doing your own band, but you're doing what you can to support everyone else as well. Yeah, yeah we're definitely. Doing we'll our do best. your tapes, friends. <laughs> yeah, we will do your tapes. <laughs> Even if we don't release it, we will still dub them. Um, sure. So yeah, we do the label, we do the band, we do like a run little venue in town. So that's really awesome. It's uh, we try to stay busy. We'll give back what we can. And we do it for the music. Keep and we it active. Do it for, we do it for the, the community. Kids. There's yeah. not there's nothing really happening in Binghamton. There's not a lot of like you know places to play yeah and, like, that's been not, a problem for a while yeah and there's not like a lot of uh, even local bands so like yeah. somewhere where they can play and somewhere where they can go somewhere where we can have international and local and now do you touring acts come through do you just do like metal grind punk type um, stuff or that mix typically does just that kind of stuff i book basically whatever uh avenue diy um, we have like a, hip, like a hip-hop show next friday okay and then you know we have like a yeah. indie indie pop punk like pop punk shoe, shoe days like space kind of stuff going on like the day after that and like 
we do like you know karaoke nights and other stuff like that but as far as what i mainly book yeah it's mostly grindcore and, and okay but the, the club school. actually has other yeah, other stuff yeah we do anything yeah nice yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, hopefully Nathan is just about done plugging all his stuff in. <laughs> right on. Cool, cool. Yeah. And uh, you said you're going to do about 15 minutes or so? Yeah. How many songs is that for you? Uh, I think like 11? 52. <laughs> 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 no, like probably 10. It's 11, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah it's just 11. <laughs> but it'll be uh, about 15.